What's going on, my name is Spencer, and in this video, we're gonna be covering how to make controls to paragraph a line for a motion graphic template. So before I show you guys anything, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is come and make sure that your project settings and your expressions are set to JavaScript or the stuff that I'm gonna show you isn't gonna work when you're trying to, to go through it. So you can see in my comp, I already have the text layers laid out. So this is center and then right and left. So they're all on separate layers and basically I'll add a drop down menu control to the controls and then you'll select, you know, center, left or right. One thing before I dive into, it's just, um, usually I'll just use one text layer until I'm actually done, just in case there's other expressions that I'm attaching it to or animations that I'm doing. That way, at the end, all I have to do is just duplicate it twice and not really have to worry about everything else. So let's do the right one first. So basically you're just gonna dive down to source text and then I'll show you where I got this expression from and it's right from Adobe and it's basically just all about accessing the, the text properties. That's why we had to switch to JavaScript and you are just gonna use returning the source text and the style of the source text. So to start, just option click on the little stopwatch and we are going to make a style. So style equals and then grab your little pick whip and you want your master text so style equals our master text and then you're going to get that specific style at this case it doesn't change at all so i'm just going to put it at zero so it'll grab it right at the start of the comp and we're not done yet so now that we've just defined what the style is, we're going to use that style and we're going to set the text to also the source text. And then we're going to finish off the expression. Don't worry, I'll link this uh, in the description below. And now, whatever I type in this master, whatever I type will update, right? So basically all we have to do is copy that expression, paste that expression, and there you go. And then the last thing I'll do, so they're not all just sitting over each other, is hit T on my keyboard to bring up all their opacities. And what we're going to do is add a drop down menu control to our another control layer or on the master text, it's totally up to you. And maybe you're familiar with this already, but all we're gonna do is I'll click on that or option and then uh, and then we're gonna define it. So drop down equals we're gonna pick whip and that that's what I'm referring to when I say drop down. And even further is the value if it's one, two, three, whatever. What we're gonna say basically is if the drop down is equal to right now one, go to 100. Or if it's not, please go to zero. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, the first one is done. And you'll know if you did that wrong just by uh, After Effects will tell you if your expression is not readable and it doesn't know what you're trying to say. So just make sure you don't have that symbol coming up. Moving on here, I'm just going to copy and paste these expressions because this is going to be two and this is going to be three. Let's drag this right into here. The first one is going to be center. The next one is going to be right. And this one is going to be left. So now you have right, left, center. And then any changes that you want to make to your text, make sure you do it to the master text. So in this case, I would just drag the source text up into the essential graphics window. And then anything you do there will reflect back on all the other layers. 
Okay, yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much how simple it is, and that's just how I do it. There's definitely other ways that you can do it, and I'm basically putting this out in hopes that somebody comes and says, hey, there's a totally easier way. But uh, until then, if you're having the same problem, this is how you do it. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.